Okay, so I had pro I hit F two and um I had problems with the windows. So I selected the USB storage device, put in my uh my bootable copy of Manjaro Now I need to boot to the flash drive so in the Dell Inspire and BIOS I go to the boot menu and what I have to do I'm going to have to disable the fast boot I'm going to have to switch it to legacy So what you do is um, and I, I wasn't exactly sure here what to change. But I hit enter. I must have arrowed to the right and moved. Yeah, I hit enter on that. Then I use the arrow to move it and hit enter. Then in the boot list, I go to legacy. I hit enter, arrow up, enter, yes. Now to change the boot priority, it's different depending on what BIOS you're in. Some of them you move the things up and down, but I realize this one, you hit enter on the thing and then you select what you, and you want USB to be first because that's where you have your copy of Manjaro. I showed you in another video, I'm gonna save that so, uh, and reboot, and it'll boot out of the USB. Now, I cut, I edited some things out of these videos. Okay, so now I'm in that start screen. I set my time zone. So I'm in America, uh, in the eastern United States. So New York is the eastern time zone. Hit enter. Use arrows and enter a lot. Uh, I put it on non-free. I don't know what's good here, um, but I thought it would be more likely to succeed. I think non-free. And then on, I have the regular edition of Manjaro. That's not the architect, but the KDE desktop version of Manjaro. Now, I don't know why those zeros are going up there. Something's wrong on my um, laptop keyboard. It's an old Dell Inspiron. I think um, I might have edited out some of the parts. So, um, But here it is booting up, which is good. But every once in a while, you see those rows of zeros showing up. And um, this is the... Yeah, so I think there's something wrong with the keys, and that's why it's doing that. Okay, and I edited out a little bit. It takes a while for this screen to load the first time, so I edited that out. Now I'm going to go down to where it says Launch under Installation at the bottom there. You see Launch. The launch installer. Now I clicked on the American English. It stops that from spinning. And then I select American English and now I can go to next. I don't know why it spins like that, but I didn't get the next key. All right, and then next again and next again. I'm going to erase the whole thing on the Dell Inspiron. Get Windows off of there and I'm going to select swap. Um, It's a cheap laptop. It doesn't have much memory or anything. Um, I edited this out. Uh, you didn't need to see me enter the passwords and stuff anyway, although it blocks it out. I selected LibreOffice. And now I'm going to begin it to um, uh, format. Um, install now. 
Um, I edit out a lot of this. It takes a long time for it to do this. You notice the bar jumped to the end because I took out the clip. So expect that to take a while. Now, I don't pull out the flash drive until it uh, mostly shuts down. So I'm going to restart. And then when the screen goes black, I'm going to pull out the flash drive. I've been moving stuff around, so forgive the mess. thought I edited it out. It takes a while on this black screen here. So don't be concerned if it sits for a while on a black screen. Um, I edited that time out. Does that zeros again. And you'll get some of these, you know, mess these messages. But the Linux, um, that it's pretty tough. You'll get some failed messages but uh, it'll keep on going and eventually it'll load a lot of times. So just be patient. The fact that the cursor just showed up on the screen, I'm pointing at it, you see, um, that's good news. So that tells you that stuff is happening. And there we go. We got the, the start screen for Manjaro. When I go to go in, uh, it takes a little while to load. So I'm going to edit that out. And then I'm going to get more of a black screen. I'm, it's going to be on there for a while. So I edited that out. But finally, I got the welcome to Manjaro. Um, I X out of that. And uh, again, it takes a while for the thing to load. The first time you do it, things take a while, you know, so you just have to be patient. It actually gets faster once you pull the things up and load them and, and uh, do everything. Um, I went and checked the software update. You see right there on the left, software update to get into that screen. And then I uh, used my user login, not the root login, in order to get this to, you know, password, in order to get it to update. So, uh, and that's all I did. Thank you.